2012 looks to be another tough year for fund managers as the Eurozone crisis comes to a head and recession looms. Well, to tell us his strategy, I'm joined now by the Head of Investments at Standard Life Investments, Rod Paris. Rod, thanks for being with us. Now, you say that political uncertainty um, will be one of the biggest risks next year. How do you position for, the, for that, given it's something so far out with your control? There are still, I think, some truths out there that we can still invest around, um, even in the midst of this political uncertainty, Jamie. Um, we, for a, a while now, have believed in the importance of investing around sustainable yield. And that as an investment theme, I think, will still um, serve as well, even as the, this um, crisis unfolds and we get some sense of uh, the lay of the land. And by sustainable yield, I'm talking about investing in uh, those companies with strong uh, dividend cash flow. Well, I'm talking about being um, um, uh, intelligent about investing in certain parts of the corporate debt market and property as well. So there, is still, there are still strategies out there that you can deploy uh, even whilst we're waiting for resolution on this political issue. Okay, we'll come to um, some of the, the investment um, picks in a second, but I just want to touch on another one of your themes for next year. You're concerned about tightening liquidity, but, but surely this is one area where we can feel a bit safer. Central banks have shown that they will flood the market with almost unlimited liquidity, and for some time too. Um, I, I agree with that, and I think we don't have to worry about uh, the withdrawal of quantitative easing. Um, during this year. Um, if anything, I think um, the market is hoping to see quantitative easing in Europe. So, uh, in fact, I, I, would, I would phrase that slightly differently. Uh, we believe at Sun Life Investments that uh, interest rates will still stay very low, and quantitative easing in Europe is actually what's likely on, to be on the cards, which will have implications for the euro and uh, all sorts of other investment strategies. Okay, let's go back to your picks. Um, you mentioned property there. Is that UK property and yeah. a particularly high-end property? Um, a commercial property in, in London would be one area. Um, picking up on your, the, your issue on quantitative easing, I think if we see quantitative easing, um, the euro will, should weaken. Um, I think the dollar will be in favour. I think people will look very, very closely at um, uh, dollar bond markets and dollar equity returns. Uh, that looks promising in this environment. Um, as I said, there are strategies out there that uh, I think will work um, uh, in 2012. But aren't all these bets off the table really if recession um, transpires and actually accelerates? Our central view at the moment in terms of Europe is, I would say, stagnation rather than a uh, full-blown recession. And clearly recession puts us in, a, in another environment. Um, but I would say that would, would make um, uh, issues like quantitative easing even more likely as uh, politicians need to keep, um, if you like, the show on the road whilst the um, roadmap for uh, um, treaty change uh, is worked out. Now, we're talking here mainly about the Western world and the developed markets. You like emerging markets, but again, the question has to be next year. Um, emerging markets look more attractive, but if the developed world slips back into recession and a deeper banking crisis, surely again, all bets in emerging markets are off. It's the question of degree once more. And um, we're, we're quite confident about China still in this environment. And China as an engine for emerging market growth is still a pronounced engine um, and one that I think will um, um, uh, fuel global growth prospects. Um, but look, clearly if uh, there is a, a, a big recession by definition, um, there are going to be more challenging uh, uh, investment markets. But that's not our central case at the moment. We think the politicians will, uh, certainly as far as Europe is concerned, lay out a roadmap, uh, which is what the markets want. Um, and we think liquidity will be provided to the marketplace um, whilst we are moving along that road. And I think that's what the markets hope to see. And if they see that, I think um, we could have actually a better turn to markets in the coming weeks into the end of the year. OK, we've talked about uh, what you want to buy. What would you steer clear of? Um, I'm thinking maybe core government bonds. The issue with core government bonds is there are certain markets where you really only have non-value buyers holding those assets. And I think that is going to be a challenge. Um, and certainly that would be one area one, one would be cautious of. Um, but I, as, as I, we still see a lot of opportunities. 
Okay, final question. Um, could you give us uh, some of your targets for the major equity markets for next year? Um, where do you see the <laughs> S&P going? I'm oh, I'm going to, I know, I, I'm going to disappoint that. I was told two things, is either give a target without a date, or give a date without a target, and uh, I'll still clear. But I, I'm, I, I have to say, um, at Sand Life Investments, we're in probably in the, in the camp where the glass is half full rather than half empty. So I think our, our, our targets would be probably more positive than the consensus at the moment. OK, well, we'll see how that pans out. My thanks there to Rod Paris from Standard Life Investments. Well, that's all from us for now. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.